What's up everybody, welcome back. We got another one for you. This one's all about putting the pounder of the Mule Custom back in the Arena B1 garage. Alright guys, as you see, I have my stock pounder sitting in my B2 garage at my nightclub. I originally used a Street Blazer Nagasaki 4-wheeler to dupe it out of the nightclub. I have my modded version of my pounder that is sitting in B4 garage in my nightclub, which I'm going to show you how to put back into B1 garage and fix the dead spot. Okay guys, so in order to get this back, what I'm doing right now is I'm running outside, I'm already registered as a motorcycle club president. I'm going to call out through the motorcycle club interaction menu my street blazer which was the vehicle that i used to duplicate my pounder you must call out and the vehicle that you used this is just what i used what i'm going to do is i'm going to drive it into b2 to the stock version of the pounder and you're going to accept the alert to replace the pounder what that's going to do is that's going to take the pounder and that's going to put the pounder inside the arena where you just pulled the street blazer from and it's going to create a dead slot there and it's going to leave the street blazer inside of b2 where the stock pounder is as you'll see all right so the pounder is now gone it's created the dead slot in the arena the street blazer is there from here on what you want to do is you want to make your way down to the arena all right now i'm finally getting to the arena this is what you want to do you want to first just drive up to the arena you want to walk into B1 Garage and just confirm that you do have the dead spot where the pounder is from when you put the Nagasaki Street Blazer or whatever vehicle you use to dupe the pounder and our mule in the nightclub and that put the, uh, the dead spot into the arena. So I'm going to walk up, I'm going to check it. As you see the pounder customs at the bottom so it's in there. I'm going to do a quick just count off my head and make sure that the garage is actually full, which it is. There's, I don't have the Cerebrus in here, the big fuel tank, so it can only hold nine cars, so it's full. From here, what you want to do is you want to go outside and you want to get into a street vehicle. I'm not going to use the red one again because I thought it was too expensive to pull in the garage, so I'm going to get into this vehicle. I'm going to take this car, I'm going to drive it in to B1 Garage, and I'm going to put it over top of that pounder. So we're going B1, accept the alert that it's full, replace the pounder. As you see, boom, replace the pounder custom. All right, now you want to go and get inside of that street vehicle. You want to drive it right back outside. No need to upgrade, don't do anything to it, just drive it right back outside. You want to get outside of it. You want to throw some stickies on it. Make sure you're registered as an MC motor club, you know, motorcycle club president still. You're going to blow it up. You're going to call out the street blazer through the motorcycle menu. You're just going to come here. You're going to get on it. You're going to drive it into B1. What that just did was that cleared up that slot from um, the pounder mule, the dead slot. So now you're going to be able to repurchase that pounder mule from Warstock's website. just to show you once we get in we're going to pull up the phone menu in a second go to war stock if you've done this correctly you should get it's just going to say purchased if you did something wrong it's going to ask you like to put it in a garage or something which you can't so it sold everything went fine all right from this point we're going to make our way back to the nightclub all right as you see we're finally getting back to the nightclub what you're going to do is you're going to walk in, you're going to go to B1 to see that the Pounder Mule is in fact back in B1. Now it's going to be a stock version for right now. As you see, the stock version of the Pounder is now there again. So the dead spot is fixed. We still, we, now we have the stock one in B1 and we have our modded one in B4. This is what we're going to do. We're going to go to Garage B4 now. As you see, I still have my modded Pounder. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk up to it and we're going to upgrade something on it. And what that's going to do is it's going to slap the mods from this one onto the stock one in B1.
first I was going to up the win. Uh, first I was going to do the windows, and I realized nothing's selected, so I didn't want to select something if it's unselected. So I said uh, I'll just do the armor. So I'm going to purchase light armor. You know, get out of it. Go to B1. Now sometimes you'll have an issue where if you throw, like you'll, you'll put the mods on there, you'll upgrade the modded one and it won't slap the mods on the B1, which I actually had this issue coming up as you'll see here in a second. If that happens, don't get scared. Just go back to B4 and just do something different like the brakes or something and you should be fine. So I'm like, okay, hold on, it didn't work, let me go back to B4. All right, once you're back in B4, just make your way back to the uh, mule again. I mean, mule. To the pounder and our mule. Whatever you're doing. Now, this is not for the speed, though. This is only for the pounder or mule. As you see, I'm going to do something different this time. Pick the brakes. Put sport brakes. Exit the vehicle. And go back to B1 and look. As you'll see now, boom, it slapped the mods from the modded one into the stock one in B1. Now from here on out, just go up to the your pounder and our mule that's modded in B1 and make one change on the armor or something to get it to save, to make sure it saves. As you see, I went to the light armor, came back to this armor. Boom. And that's all. That's all she wrote. That's all you have to do. And that's how you get the pounder and mule back in B1 modded.